Hello, this is Traveling Man Ben, and we're going to go around America and see how transportation has changed throughout the years. First, we're going to take a look at how America is as it is today with the 50 states, and then we'll go through starting from the beginning from the, from the colonies. The colonies, most of the settlers stick closer to the bay, only having boats to travel by, and no other forms of transportation existed yet. While controlled by the British, we mostly stuck inside the 13 colonies, not moving farther west because of the Proclamation Line. Once we received our freedom, we, we started building canals after we had our freedom, and we started making this a major centering hub, making New York a major centering hub, developing others along with this type of water travel, which wasn't used very often. We're in Philadelphia, where a lot of transportation, steel, and railroads helped develop this town in the eastern side of the country to be a major centering hub. Once we did the Louisiana Purchase, Lewis and Clark found some great places for us to develop major cities using water travel. Here we are in New Orleans where there was a lot of training used by the Mississippi River. Next we moved to Chicago which is a major centering hub towards the west with railroads and water travel. A lot of immigrants moved here. Once we obtained land from Mexico, we started moving west after the gold rush. Looking west, the gold rush and the Homestead Act would push people on oxen and slowly the trains would follow them across the country towards there. Developing major centering hubs of people like Los Angeles that we have today where a lot of the population is spread out towards. That's all the time we have this week with Traveling Ben. Next week we're going to Europe to follow the adventures of Napoleon. Thanks for watching. See you next week.